Hello friends, welcome to part 7 of learning Java. This is presented to you by Suhani's tutorial and with the demigods. In this video, we are going to practice our control flow skills with a sample code. Be sure to use the tools you've learned so far, including if statements, while loops, variables, and input output. So let's get started. For this sample program, you will implement a single multiple choice question in Java. You will come up with a question as well as three possible answer choices. One of these choices should be the correct answer. Using your knowledge of control flow and input and output, you will ask the user the question as well as provide the possible answer choices. The user will respond with one of these choices. If the user is correct, we will print out a congratulations message. If the user is incorrect, we will print out that the user is incorrect as well as what the correct answer choice is. So now let's walk through the code step by step. For this sample program, you will implement a single multiple choice question in Java. You will come up with a question as well as three possible answer choices. One of these choices should be the correct answer. Using your knowledge of control flow and input and output, you will ask the user the question as well as provide the possible answer choices. The user will respond with one of the choices. If the user is correct, we will print a congratulations message. If the user is incorrect, we will print out that the user is incorrect as well as what the correct answer is. In this example, I'm going to print out the question saying, what is the largest planet in our solar system? Now I'm going to give three choices. The first choice will be Earth. The second choice will be Saturn. And the third choice will be Jupiter. Now, we have also written a variable saying that the correct answer is choice 3, that is Jupiter. So let's go forward and see what else do we need to write in this code. First, we need to write the print statement asking the question. For that, we will use system.out.println and question. Now we need to write the print statement giving the answer choices. For this, we will have to write system.out.println and in brackets we will have to write what our choices should be, so I'll quickly jot them down. Now we have the user input as an answer. For that, we will have to use scanner. Don't forget to import scanner at the very beginning. Now, we need to go ahead and retrieve the user's input. And for that, we need to use scanner.next. So we will write string input equals scanner.next. Now we need to use the if statement and see that if the user's input matches the correct answer, what we want our program to do. So for that we will write if correct answer dot equals input. Now we open our curly brackets. 
and we write what we want our print statement to be. We want it to be system dot out dot println. Congratulations. Your answer is correct. Now, what do we want our system to do if the inputted answer is wrong? For that, we need to use the else statement. So we will write it over here. Else, opening curly brackets. What do we want our print statement to be? We want it to be, you are incorrect. The correct answer is option number three, that is choice number three was our correct answer. So we will go ahead and write here choice three. So that is all for this. Let us go ahead and run this. So we will go ahead and run it. As you can see that the program is asking us what is the largest planet in our solar system. Then it tells us to choose one of the following, Earth, Saturn, or Jupiter. Let's try choosing Earth. The answer is you are incorrect. The correct answer is Jupiter. Let's try and run this again. Now let's try choosing Saturn. Again, you are incorrect. Let's run it again. And now we have our correct answer. Now let's see what would happen if I were to enter this value. That is Jupiter, but with a small j at the very beginning. We get you are incorrect. The correct answer is Jupiter. Even though we have entered Jupiter and our correct answer is Jupiter, it is still wrong. Why? Because the dot equals, the dot equals um, program that we have used, it is case sensitive. So we need to use a capital J over here. We could also add more multiple choice questions. With what we know so far, adding additional questions will require us to add a significant amount of code. If you want to create a more efficient quiz with several multiple choice questions, you'll need to learn about data structures, which is a more advanced topic that's out of the video of this course. In working on this sample program, you may have run into some tough errors, and that's okay. In the next video, We'll look at how we can debug our program by finding some common coding errors and fixing them. Do like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for other parts.